Big or small, we always have them. A future basketball champion, a great math genius, and at the end of the day, some of these expectations are bound to be satisfied. Man, I Wait, I still have to give you your homework for tomorrow. While other expectations are not. Sorry, I can't talk anymore. I've got to go. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, Dad. Expectations. Everyone has them. Sometimes they're not really very big. I can't believe it. I always forget my diary under my desk. Huh? Other times they are large and can cause great pain. <gasps> oh. Good old Dad. Never keeps his promises. Ugh. Never, not once. Oh. <gasps> oh no, what have I done? Everyone, earthly ones, devils, and angels have expectations of themselves and their loved ones. And sometimes your expectations leave you feeling let down. Don't you understand? Sulphus has disappointed me. I thought that with Andrew about to do something so serious, he would have acted differently. Differently? Like how? Okay, how about not like a devil? But Raf, remember Sophus is a devil. I know it, sweet, I know, but you see... No buts about it. We're angels and they're devils. You cannot confuse the two. You can't expect Sophus and them to act like anything other than, well, just like devils. And you know that we will always behave like, just like angels. You can't be disappointed with Sophus. You can't expect him to be a good person because he is a devil. Do you get it now? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Huh? huh? Professor Arkin wants to speak with you immediately. You all should have been more careful. You're right, Professor Arkin. I'm so sorry. It will never happen again. It certainly will not. What's done is done, but we have to take responsibility for it. <gasps> never! Not you were not once. paying attention to your earthly one. And now Edward has committed a serious act of vandalism in his classroom. <gasps> now Jennifer has to make a very difficult decision. Does she inform the teachers of exactly what Edward has done, or does she maintain her silence and keep his actions to herself? She should just tell the truth, shouldn't she? It's unfortunately not that simple. Allow me to explain. You see, soon the school will elect a class president, an office Jennifer is aspiring to. She believes it would be possible to guarantee the teacher's vote if she would only tell them who vandalized the classroom. So she would be rewarded at the same time, Edward would be punished. You're correct, Raph, and that would be clearly selfish. Hmm? But on the other hand, if she were to hold her tongue, that would cause her to be perceived as Edward's accomplice, and that's not good. Can you understand the dilemma? So are you saying that anything Jennifer decides will be wrong? No, not exactly. There is always a better decision possible. But it is up to you to understand what is right, Uri. So you may help Jennifer to make the right decision. Stupid! I can't believe I've been so stupid! Don't be so hard on yourself. That's right, we've all made our mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them. Oh, Raph, I didn't just make a mistake. I've caused a lot of trouble between you and Jennifer. All for one and one for all. That's what being friends means. Hmm? I'm sure Uri will show Jennifer the right path. <sighs> well, one thing's for sure. 
You can count on Kabiria not to do it. It's just you and me, Uri. So tell me, are you tired of losing yet? Kabiria, have you forgotten? Has it occurred to you that you haven't been doing so well lately? Then remind me how bad I am. Never mind, shut up and choose the challenge so I can beat you already. Sure, as you wish. Let's see. Well, I'll have to say it's an original choice. Now we'll see who comes up on top. Hydro, fly! <laughs> Can't you think of anything better to do with those wings? That was just a small taste. I didn't want to hurt you. What a nice thought. Especially since I'm going to beat you. Don't worry, though. I'll make it quick. Hmm? Hmm. Wild fly! carnivorous plants, they will be more than just a taste. But I'm not finished yet. You're not? Neither am I. <gasps> Meteor fly! We finally arrived at the moment of truth. We'll be great. Lightning, activate metamorphosis. Guard and protect. And based to the theorem of Varanelli, any straight line that intersects. Do come in. Good morning, Professor. Uh, good morning. I'm looking for Jennifer. I have some questions for her. That's... that's me. We have information that leads us to believe that you know who is behind the classroom vandalism. What? How do you know that? We know everything. Hmm. Just tell us who did it. I don't know. I don't want to be a rat. Rat? What are you talking about, huh? You are a candidate for class president. You must set a good example. And if you don't say what you know, then you're an accomplice. But I'm no such thing. I haven't done anything, but I know who did. It was Ed. Then that means it was Edward. Well, you can expect we'll just take it from here. I have to know. Will Edward be expelled from school? Of course. Hmm. Does that upset you? Mm-hmm. I see. Let's see what we can do about it. So this Edward person, is he someone you can speak to? Me? Perhaps you could convince him that the best thing he could do would be to confess. If he does that, then you would not have to report him and you would not be a rat. But officer, wouldn't he still be expelled? Not exactly. If Edward took responsibility and confessed and offered to repair the damage, then I could cut him some slack. And perhaps the teachers and principal would do the same. Really? Does that sound good to you? That sounds great. I'll try to go see Edward right away. Way to go, Uri. You've done a wonderful job. I have. Jennifer has made the right decision. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. We'll see who has the last laugh, an angel or a devil. The game's not over yet. Oh. Oh. Come on, Arachno. Let's go. It's our turn. <laughs> I wonder what she has in mind. Jennifer? Huh? Are you Jennifer? I've been looking all over for you. We've got to make our arrangements for Paris. Paris? 
Yeah. Next month, the convention will be in Paris. Then later in New York. And as long as we keep winning, in the spring we'll go to Australia. What convention are you talking about? You don't know. I'm talking about the class president leadership conventions. Hmm. I have it from reliable sources that you're going to be the next Golden School president. You're a shoe in It hasn't been decided yet. Uh, I get it. You're just modest. But it would be insane to pick anyone else. And think of what a good time you'll have. I can imagine. Well, I better be going. I hope you win and... Be sure you give it everything you've got. <laughs> So, what do you think Jennifer's gonna do? Knowing humans, it's hard to say. Don't worry, Kabiria. Uh -huh. You've done an absolutely awesome job. Jennifer will definitely rat out Edward. Nothing's definite yet. We've gotta set up our game. Those angels are almost getting good at this. That's true, but how great could an angel really be anyway, right? Huh. Not great at all. You were great, Uri. I tried to help her realize that even in difficult situations, there's always a better choice available. Just like Professor Arkin said. Yep, but now it's up to Jennifer to decide. Don't worry, it'll be just fine. Jennifer's really a good girl. Don't hold your breath for that one. I'm sorry, well, I only mean that sometimes we put a lot of expectations on someone, but anyone can make a mistake. Jennifer, won't you come in and talk to me? I know who vandalized the classroom. <laughs> My lady, if you would please indulge me. What do you want? Nothing, nothing. I only... I wanted to point out that since we've returned from Limbo, we've done nothing to the angels or the devils. Have you forgotten your revenge? Not at all. But now that the Supernaturals know of my existence, I must be quite patient and wait for the waters to calm down. But soon, very soon, we will strike! <laughs> 